Hey everyone, welcome to another video in our Adventure Motorcycle Gear Series. I'm Eric with Ride Adventures. I'm uh, gonna walk through with you what we think is some of the best gear we've found right now out in the market for loading the bike up into the bed of your truck. First would be starting with the vehicle, of course, that you're using. Pretty much every pickup truck out there would be able to handle uh, most motorcycles in the market these days. But, you know, make sure you know what your weight ratings are and figure out that you're going to be able to support the bike or bikes that you're putting into the truck. So, in this case, GMC's new Multi-Pro tailgate, fantastic because it comes with this step and even the handle here. So, when you are loading, at least you already have a step built in. If you don't have a step like that built into your truck, um, you know, a simple motorcycle stand or something else, a footstool or whatever you might have around uh, will help you as you're getting the bike up into the vehicle. And then so onto aluminum ramps, the, the ramps themselves I don't even know if anybody's making steel anymore. I can't imagine the point of it being so heavy and with the rust possibilities and everything, but these aluminum motorcycle ramps are pretty low cost these days. This is a great one made by Black Widow. Uh, folds in half to be about four feet and then folds out to be about eight feet. And of course, the longer you go, um, the better your chances are of having a good angle, or not so steep angle for getting the bike up into the truck. So, you know, comes with these little rubber grip pads there to help keep it steady and in place. Of course, you're going to use straps to secure the ramp to the vehicle. But, you know, know the weight ratings on the ramp itself that you're buying. Um, know the manufacturer, see that they have a, a quality reputation. And then know, of course, the weight of the bike it is that you're going to be loading because those are all obviously factors in whether you're going to be successful with the gear you're buying. Onto straps, of course straps are important and what you choose is um, yours to decide. But I think right now the best value in the market are these Rhino straps, these Rhino USA. They've got a pair of straps. We're seeing them online for about 25 bucks right now for two good straps. Uh, we'll have a link in the description, of course, if you wanna go ahead and buy them directly. The um, straps are, have about an 1100 pound weight rating on them, a working load rating. And they're these soft straps, which I think are really uh, uh, crucial. So you got a soft strap here, meaning it goes around the triple clamp of the bike and then loops back to itself. Instead of, for example, not having that strap and then having to put the hook back on itself like that. Just a much better, more secure thing to have a soft strap like that. These Rhino straps also come with the closure feature right there, right there which is excellent. So you have basically no chance of once it's in there, it popping out. Um, if you didn't have a closure on your straps like this, make sure you use a simple, like a plastic zip tie or something to, uh, to secure this soft the part of the strap into place like that because as you're driving a vehicle with a motorcycle and say you're hitting potholes and things like that, the bike can wiggle back and forth and you can develop slack from one side to the other and um, a hook can come loose from the sidewall of the truck or wherever it happens to be. We've seen it happen before. So make sure you're using ones with closures like that or like I said, zip ties. And another feature I really like about this, aside from the beautiful orange actually, is that this uh, cam closure, this locking mechanism, is a good long one. There are others out there on the market that are about half of that leverage. They're about half that distance. This one, at least you've got some leverage to push down on to release that strap because actually when you get these things tied down pretty good and tight they can be it can be hard to break that loose if you've got a cold hand and a thumb that uh, isn't pushing hard enough so um yeah the rhino straps come in their own uh, bag in the pouch like this and they come with a little velcro to help keep them strapped together and a loop there and uh they're a great option that we find uh going together to make your kit for again securing your motorcycle with the right gear um, the right tie downs and the right aluminum ramp uh, watch for other videos we're going to have some coming up in our adventure motorcycle training series where we're going to be talking about actually the process of loading the bike the bike and making sure you've got the right tie down points and a lot of little factors go into that so that's going to be a different video coming up and uh, please like and subscribe and share this information we want to get more of you out there riding having fun smiling comment in the 
comments below if you will because uh, we want to know what do you want to learn about from us. There's a lot of experience between my fellow guides and I and we're happy to share if you tell us what it is you want to learn about. So thanks for joining. See you again soon.